Mission Control was able to welcome home a shuttle crew. The space shuttle Discovery touched down in California this morning. CNN's Sean Caleb's has more. And Discovery is home. The shuttle is back on Earth with its leaders gushing over the performance of Discovery, its crew, and Commander Eileen Collins. I'm uh, thinking about resigning my position in favor of Eileen Collins. I mean, she's smarter, uh, more personable, better looking, better pilot. A mission that stretched nearly 14 days and pushed technology and NASA scientists to the limit is being labeled wildly successful by the space agency. Well, clearly, I believe the most significant is just getting the shuttle flying again. But the day did get off to a rough start, with lightning in Florida forcing NASA to abandon plans to land at the Kennedy Space Center, its preferred site. Well, again, and uh, a larger question remained on the minds of those in mission control and the shuttle. How would Discovery handle the punishing heat of reentry? Uh, there was a little bit of trepidation there. I think for me, I wouldn't be human otherwise. But we'll tell you, I was watching uh, through the period uh, where Columbia broke apart. I was looking at the same things that happened to them. Remember, NASA says at least five dangerously large chunks of foam broke free of the external fuel tank during launch. Luckily, none struck the orbiter. And an unprecedented spacewalk by Stephen Robinson was needed to repair a section of what's called gap filling, part of the shuttle's heat shield. As the drag parachute slowed the shuttle to a crawl, a sigh of relief from the landing site at Edwards Air Force Base all the way across the country to the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> Memory of a disaster two and a half years ago still looms large for NASA and Discovery's crew. This wasn't so much a mission to exercise ghost as it was to honor friends. The Columbia crew believed in what they did they believed in the space mission, and I know if they're listening to me right now, they would most certainly want us to continue this mission. The desire is there, but the shuttle fleet remains grounded for the foreseeable future. NASA says it won't fly again until it's certain that debris, foam from the external fuel tank, won't doom the orbiter during liftoff. Sean Cadlibs, CNN, 